Good morning, my real world collectors. It is a beautiful snowy day here in Massachusetts. We woke up early, checked on the 3D prints, took a cool picture for Instagram, just got done working out at Planet Fitness. But today is Crown Zenith release day. So we're gonna go home, eat a good breakfast, and hit the shops, show you guys what everyone has in stock and who has the best prices. Let's have some fun. All right, we ate a good breakfast. Now we're here in Hadley, Massachusetts. What we got planned today is we got GameStop, we got Walmart down over there. We got Barnes and Noble right next to it. We got Target on the other side. Those are the stores we're gonna be hitting up today looking for the best prices. GameStop here is our first spot. So let's dive in and have some fun. All right, GameStop was obviously a huge score. I'm gonna go show you guys inside the car what we got, how much we paid for everything. We're still gonna go over to Barnes & Noble and check out some pricing. And we know Walmart and Target has gone up on their pricing. And I'm a little curious about their inventory. Walmart has not had product on release days in a while. So let's see what's going on. All right, so first thing up, we got the Reggie Drago V-Box. So this is four packs inside for $29.99. These guys are normally about 20 to 25 bucks. So we definitely see a price increase there. I'm really curious to see how the other stores are doing. I got a feeling Walmart and Target might be a similar price, but at least with GameStop and the uh, pros get back 2% rewards, we build up some store credit that we can apply. Uh, this is pretty much the same exact box right here, Reggie Lecky V. Uh, same content inside, same price point. We'll be opening these up in the studio. The Pokemon Center Elite Trainer, not Pokemon Center, but the regular Elite Trainer box, $59.99, but it did go up. It's got 10 booster packs inside when it normally has eight. So you do get compensated. That's $5 a pack, opposed to about $6.50 a pack inside there. And then of course, with Valentine's Day coming up, we had to get Logan this. So we're gonna go over to Barnes and Noble now, see how we did with our price points. I probably should have shopped around a little bit first, but I was like, ah, we're at GameSpot, GameStop and we get rewards, so why not? So let's go over to Barnes and Noble and see how they are doing. Here we are at Barnes & Noble. I like Barnes & Noble a lot, actually. We are signed up as a member, which means we get 10% off. We actually probably would have saved a little bit more money if we stopped at Barnes & Noble first. But being a release day, I knew GameStop was gonna be definitely having stock. So let's go in and see how we did. All right, so it's a good thing we went to GameStop first because Barnes & Noble does not have anything Crown Zenith in stock. They got a delivery today, and believe it or not, it was all old products. So good thing we did that. We're going to go over to the toy section where we are right now, check out some Funko Pops, see if they have any cool Pokemon things, and then we're going to go to Target and Walmart. Oh my God, check this out. How much is this? How much are you? Ooh. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh my God. $159.99. It's heavy. Would you guys buy that? 160 bucks, that's a little steep, but it's pretty awesome.
Barnes and Noble definitely had some cool stuff. Walmart is right next door. So we're just going to flip right over here and see what they got going on. I doubt they're going to have anything in stock, but maybe I'll be surprised. Absolutely wiped out. Nothing. So needless to say, Walmart had absolutely nothing, but you know, we still haven't found the plushies that are here. So I'm gonna go take a walk around and see if they have those really cool uh, Squishmallows. Uh, check out Funko Pops. I'm gonna go to the toy section too and see what they got going on. I am amazed. Walmart had absolutely nothing going on, not only just for Pokemon, but Funko as well. I check out Funko Pops maybe three times a week. Haven't seen anything major in a while. Uh, there was that t-shirt bundle over at GameStop. I had a budget a little bit. We spent a lot of money over there. I did pick up a Tetris G Fuel energy drink. Never had this before. Tastes like Tetris. But last stop is going over to Target and let's check them out. All right, so we're at our last stop target and pretty much the mission of the video today was to show you who had what in stock and what kind of prices were going on. GameStop was the only person that had stuff in stock. Um, they kind of have the benchmark for the pricing, $60 for an ETB and $30 for those promo boxes. Those are the only Crown Zenith products out right now, except for the individual boosters, which are five bucks. Nobody had those, not even GameStop. Uh, the other products we see coming out, like the promo tins and Pikachu promo boxes and really cool things like that, that will be in February and March. So we'll do another card hunting video when those hit the streets. Uh, but we're gonna check out Target as our last spot and see, do they actually have Crown Zenith on release day and how is their pricing? So let's go check it out. And I just remembered, I'm a huge fan of supporting my local businesses. I gave them all a call and they have not gotten their shipments yet on Crown Zenith. Um, but kind of what we're seeing so far is GameStop is always a go-to. Your local card shops should be your second choice. If you have the membership at Barnes & Noble, that is your third choice. And we'll see what Target's got to offer, but I got a feeling it's not gonna make it in the top three spots to get Pokemon cards on release day. Check that out. Charizard UPCs like crazy everywhere we go. Astral Radiance, nothing crown zenith on the shelves at all. What is this? Lost Origin, Brilliant Stars, or Silver Tempest actually. Let's go check out the toy section and Funko Pops. Oh wait, here's more. Nothing major, never got into these Dragonite boxes. All right, let's go. Oh, check that out. They actually got one. Do you have a price checker by chance? There you go. Twenty bucks. Can I see that? Oh, it is twenty bucks. Awesome. Thank you. All right, guys. I've been proven wrong. As you saw, this rang up for twenty dollars. We just paid thirty dollars each for these over at GameStop. They're non-returnable. Uh, this was the last one on the shelf, so I had to get it to open it up for some fun. We got some future videos coming. The the Elite Trainer Box, these two promo boxes. I'll make this maybe into some shorts, open up some videos, but so that is the answer right there. GameStop had it in stock. They were a good price on the ETBs, but not a good price on these promo boxes. Um, game, uh, Target here was the best price on these. Walmart didn't have anything in stock. Barnes and Noble didn't have anything in stock. So not what is expecting to happen, but guys, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Uh, see you in the next video.